All right, guys, it is finally time. I am so excited. You guys have been asking for me to watch this Nuzlocke video for a while. I think it's finally time. Let's give it a watch and break it down together. What is up, guys, and welcome to our reaction slash breakdown of Jaden Animation's video, I Attempted a Two-Player Nuzlocke. A couple quick things before we start with the reaction. I'm a pro Nuzlocker over at Twitch.tv, and we're all about positive vibes and spreading love while taking on impossibly hard challenges. If that's something that interests you, I would greatly appreciate you checking out the channel. We'll be live all weekend for the launch of Legends Arceus, and I'm sure you'll have a good time. We actually just beat the hardest Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke ever attempted, and we should have a video up detailing that run soon, so stay tuned and subscribe here on the YouTube channel so you don't miss it. Number two is, as with everything we do here on this channel, this is meant to be uplifting and educational. If you take any of the critiques that I may have and use it as a validation to spew negativity towards anybody involved, then you are a weirdo and need to rethink what you're doing. And finally, I am a huge Jaden Animations fan. Four to five years ago, I was stuck in an awful job working for FedEx and was in a much worse place mentally. Watching her videos on my lunch break was one of the few things I would look forward to during my daily routine. So when you're done with this video, if you could go show some love to her channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Link to the video we're reacting to will be down below, so be sure to check out the original. That being said, let's get on with the reaction. And let's you know go. the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Yep. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. But this yeah, time we're doing something so good. a bit different. A two-person Nuzlocke. I wonder what she's going to go with. It's called a Soul Link. A Soul Link, no okay. Soul Links are really, really cool. However, they're very hard to pull off. If you think about a Nuzlocke, right, sometimes you're spending 20, 30 hours on a run. Getting two people together to pull that off can be incredibly challenging. In some ways, I think the planning and completing of a soul link is harder than the actual Nuzlocke, just getting the people together. Additionally, there is another type of two player Nuzlocke one can do called a cage lock. Um, so a cage lock is where in between every gym battle, you face your partner in a battle to unlock perks for your Pokemon. So let's say you can limit yourself before the run starts saying you can't use TMs on your Pokemon unless you win a cage battle. Then, like, say you beat Rourke and Platinum, you would then face your partner and the Pokemon you use in the cage lock, if you win, can then have TMs put on it. Something like that. So whereas a Soul Link is more cooperative, a cage lock is more combative. So that's a way if you want to, like, have a competition with your partner, a cage lock is the way to go. I mean, so basically you and Person 2 play the same Pokemon game at the same person time is. following the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which <laughs> means if my starter dies, Player 2's starter also dies. Good explanation. And they can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our Just for the record, it's also same route Pokemon. So Route 1, what you catch on Route 1 is linked with what your partner catches on Route 1 combined so if i catch a water type and add it to my team person two can't have a water type at all on theirs and cherry on nice. top all pokemon are randomized i can walk awesome. into the so just real quick about that when doing a soul link there's three separate ways you can handle typings number one is with no restrictions number two is restricting primary types and number three is restricting that type in general uh, there's only 19 types in Pokemon, so if you just restrict all of the types, you end up with a situation where one player can have 12 of the 19 types locked out if they're running six dual types. Um, so I think going with the option of limiting it to just the primary types keeps the team building aspect together and makes things a little bit more interesting because I think the team building part of a Soul Link is the most fun and engaging part of the, of the run. ...the grass at any point and accidentally find God. And maybe he'll just kill all my animals. <laughs> that is right a and there. significant so with risk with randomized place, Nuzlocke. I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon Ooh. master, able to who adapt to the Oh, she said Pokemon master. I thought she was saying Pokemon challenge. And who else other than Pokemon master himself? Jacob Alpharad. Awesome. Who, at okay. At this point in time, has a 50 50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's Listen, our a 50 50 win rate is pretty Soul good. Silver, <laughs> if you're, if you're Nuzlocke. including all of the attempts. We both go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline <laughs> into mom. Professor Elm's lab <laughs> to see what Pokemon he's got for us because we don't know. They're random. In case you forgot what I just said, we stroll up to him and he pats Jacob on the head and goes, Here, choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. What do we got? Tentacurl or Tentacruel, okay. or Okay, uh, before I break these down, leave a comment down below saying which one you would take. So the correct option here is, it depends. <laughs> if learn sets are not randomized, uh, and we can probably assume that they're not because they didn't mention it, then as a stone evolution, Ludicolo learns nothing. 
literally no level up moves. So we pretty much have to disqualify Ludicolo as an option if, if we don't have randomized learn sets as well. Um, there is an option in the randomizer where you can give Pokemon four moves uh, at level one. But if, even if you do that, you're going to end up with like Water Gun, Absorb, Growl, and Astonish on Ludicolo or something like that. Um, and then you just have to replace it with TMs as you go along the way. But that's not really a sustainable option. Tentacruel, on the other hand, is an amazing special defense wall, and in my opinion, is one of the most underrated Nuzlocke Pokemon of all time. Um, but primary water types are extremely common and very replaceable. Um, so you might want to save your primary water type for something like a Gyarados or something you see down the line. Combine its typing with its bad ability and its really bad defense stat, and I would probably pass on Tentacruel as a starter. It's more something you add to your run later on to shore up a weakness than it is something you build your team around, if that makes sense. Torterra is going to be the correct answer in a majority of cases. So if you chose Torterra, congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back. It has two really strong abilities in Overgrow and Shell Armor, with Shell Armor being one of the best Nuzlocke abilities in the game. It is very slow, but it's got incredible bulk with a nice attack stat and good utility in Leech Seed that when you combine it with Shell Armor, makes it incredibly strong. Keep in mind, it does have a 4x weakness to ice, uh, and, but ice type moves are really rare until later on in the game when you should have an answer for ice type moves at that point anyways. This ice type weakness can be a problem if you have randomized learn sets though because you can run into something like a Staryu with Aurora Beam or something like that. So just keep that in mind if you're playing with randomized learn sets in your run. All right, what do I get? Why not Minky Ariados? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Take why, why not Minky Ariados? Quite a, quite a switch. Um... Ariados is trash. Why not is amazing, but you can't really use it as a starter in a Nuzlocke. Wobbuffet is incredible for boss battles. You don't really want to use it too much over the course of the run because with Wobbuffet, a lot of time you're risking crit. Um, so I would probably pass on why not. Mankey is quick, hits hard, has pretty good early game moves like Karate Chop. I think Mankey is obviously the correct choice there. Um, so let's see what they choose. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we Torterra name them correct. On our way Franklin, to talk nice. to Mr. Pokemon, Jacob runs into a Regirock in a random patch <laughs> oh, of no. grass. Gonna explode? Which just flat out explodes <laughs> on him. No one died, luckily, but also, oh, oh my god. Man. We get an egg Thankfully and immediately Torterra, Professor the monster calls defense. and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You really couldn't handle being alone for, for 10 the record. minutes, could you? On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who oh, here scoffs, comes challenges Giovanni's us to a battle son. Spoiler alert. from Elm, which we immediately win. Scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, <laughs> I love his Target animations. gift card on the ground. Oh, not the Target gift card. <laughs> for the world to see. Dude, get your crap together. You yeah, can't get it be together. doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Silver. Back in the lab, Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police so asks good. us if we it's saw so anyone good. suspicious. Nah, yes. snitches get stitches. Aww, saw his info. snitches now get stitches. Now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been <laughs> consistently reacting and oh, you gotta love Jan. Nuzlocke so You gotta far. love Jan. Some of his comments were more critical than others and directed at one of us more than the other come on nuzlocke Hold has on. been consistently was that onyx in the background taking our nuzlocke so far some of his <laughs> okay for the record the moment in alpharaz nuzlocke when his friend tells him to send an onyx is one of the funniest things i have ever seen no joke so if you haven't seen that yet go watch alpharaz nuzlocke and watch pc's reacting to it it's so good more critical so than good. others and directed at one of us more than the other, Mr. Oh, Policeman. Oh, so funny. His name is Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Let's see if you a can destroy us from the inside out. Oh my anyway, god, that's so funny. Anyway, our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a Pokemon, runs into Articuno, catches it in a Pokeball <laughs> in the green, and turns to us and <laughs> he goes, He missed and still see? catches it, that's Just so like funny. That. Oh, I love their animations. They give us some Pokeballs Just so like we can that. finally start our journey. We both run around in the grass, and our first encounters are Barboach, Really and good. Houndoom. Okay. This oh, this would have been awesome. Oh, no. Uh, Whiskash, really, really good. Only weak to grass types, and you really don't see too many grass types um, as far as trainers go early on in games. Uh, Houndoom, also very fast, hits hard, immunity to psychic types, just really, really strong options if they're able to catch these. But it sounds like they're not going to be able to, so that's pretty sad. Awesome for Jacob. If he could catch the dang thing, <laughs> since we only had Pokeballs, yeah, if you only have like ten Pokeballs, ball, good no luck what, with Houndoom. And we ended up not getting that pair, but you know, it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hoppit Farfetch. Oh, that Jacob accidentally Disgusting. kills. Okay, I mean, or Geodude no Gyarados. Okay, yeah. Geodude Gyarados is an S tier Soul Link. 
S tier Soul Link. Yes, water is a common primary typing, and yes, rock is also relatively common early game in these games. However, Golem and Gyarados are both so unbelievably good that this is just such an S tier. It, it's so crazy how good this encounter is. That Jacob accidentally no. kills, or Tyro <laughs> no. Charizard. Okay, another that sick combo. Uh, Charizard, obviously incredible, immune to ground types, very strong, very fast. And Hitmontop, if, if it's a Hitmontop, it's obviously the best type because it gets Intimidate. Um, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are kind of meh, but if it's Hitmontop, that's an incredible pair. And Jacob accidentally kills. Even if it's not a Hitmontop, technically you can fudge around your EVs to get its defense and attack equal, so you can evolve it in Hitmontop, but that does take quite a bit of work. Hey, why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. True. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But yeah, finally, Jacob, what's wrong with you? What do you got against Pokemon? To catch a new pair. Sand slash camera up. Okay. Not bad at all. We try to name them Pretty Michael, good. but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michels. Then on route there. A little sad because Totodile with Sand slash, you already have Torterra, so you have the immunity to electric already. But camera up is really, really names, nice. So we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran Bedrodo? into a trainer who this had a Game of Thrones. Palkia on his team. Fun fact: Did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and salamence <laughs> no other dragons just salamence just salamence so and i nice. started joking around every time we saw palkia oh no if only i had a salamence so uh oh good. don't have a salamence over here <laughs> it's kind of strange how many oh my god dude, it's so crazy these are on the screen for literally like two seconds right these animations and they're still expressive. Into, it's just the insane the amount of work they put in. Every single one. So we take on Falkner, <laughs> they did have the a Salamence. Leader, who has <laughs> yeah. Kyogre Bronzar. Okay. And Metagross Scary. Dragonair. Okay. Oh my god. Ubers After already? a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I, I don't know how see. that happened, but hey, everyone. Are you going to show me? I don't know how that happened. Yeah, neither do I. Okay, now we do. Oh, oh my god. How about some encounters to lighten the mood? I need to take out Kyogre. Oh, Shuckle Suicune. Nice. If you that talk to with Shuckle, it's really good. Okay, never mind. Town, we challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked <laughs> oh, that's as Faulkner. Funny. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Challenges <laughs> us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Wait, he has a Ludicolo? That is so ironic, given the way one of his EK runs ended. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... uh, spoil <laughs> It gets crit. This is in the forest who someone accidentally kills. It's an iconic moment, Rod, so it's kind of funny that he has a little colo in this. Both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon too, which I'm ecstatic about. Nice. Turns to Jacob and gives him Regigigas, Ooh. which we can't use because oh, they're, they're the both same normal type. types. Of all That's the so legends you have to get, of course you get the only normal oh, type man. besides actual Porygon god. Porygon 2 is, with an Eevee Olight specifically is so good. Which we named so unbelievably good. I pitched to Jacob nice. that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair. So nice. he essentially switches Beedrill with Flaffy, which we shake on. Welcome to the team, Plaps. Okay, so he loses, Beedrill gets Flaffy, and then she trades Totodile for Empoleon. That's pretty good. I mean, for Alligator being a mono water type, it's pretty meh, uh, but Empoleon is incredible with its steel typing. So, and then my really good trade. immediately almost gets killed. Oh my god, Jirachi. Jaden. <laughs> I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Jaden. Oh my god. My bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair nice. we could use right away. Especially if it but, has Dragon Rage. Yeah, I ended up killing that one. Look, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacob. Listen. It is harder than it looks. Shuppet getting immunity to normal types and fighting types, really valuable. If you've watched any of my content, you know I really don't like Shuppet or Banette, but I can understand how useful they are, especially early game. Especially early game when you have a lot of like scratch and stuff like that, that it just completely dodges. And then obviously Dragonair. If it has Dragon Rage, is incredible, and then it evolves into Dragonite, obviously incredible. Uh, really good, really good encounter. It looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 <laughs> that actually turn out to be Cradily Silku. Ooh. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added Cradily's them to pretty the nice. team as Death Fodder, but we ended up forgetting to, which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake. But what's the worst thing? Flashback to happen? Roxanne and who Emerald Kaiser. Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke. <laughs> yeah, who needs Death Fodder? Taken Not this guy. Burn tower. As we were about to go down there, Jan <laughs> runs up and is like, "You're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are." Oh and my god, like, this is no, so funny. We killed him a while ago, but he still wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. We beat Ooh. him yet again. Go downstairs, scare off the dogs, and go challenge Morty. Jacob nice. didn't have any trouble for the team Morty had for him, but for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because oh, no. he had a Lugia. <laughs> yeah. This is just kind of like the give and take of randomizers, right? 
the the chance of seeing a legendary that just wipes you out. I mean, she already faced a Kyogre actually. Now she's facing a Lugia. Which I'm curious to see how she gets through this. Handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot. As I wonder Jacob if they're using items. There watching, but it ended up working out. We arrive in Olive Come on, Alvarez, give her some help. Lighthouse, almost falling to our literal death along what the is way. This Game of Rich Brand? The top, is that you? Like, Climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Seanwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. <laughs> Surfing to Seanwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And I know nice. what you're thinking. Really? Pretty good. Yeah, we did catch that. Like Obama, Obama Snow? Obama Snow. <laughs> Obama Snow is pretty mediocre later on, but if you get it early enough with no warning and Blizzard, it Blizzard's 100% accurate in the hail, and it has insane damage, and it has stab boost. So if you have this early enough, this will just absolutely carry you early in the run. Um, Pupitar is pretty trash, but obviously Pupitar Tyranitar is and suddenly we've really good, incredible. Although Sandstorm can really hurt your team. On. Also, a random guy. So can hail for the record though. Some Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally, okay. I'm the one with the legend now. <laughs> but we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. All of this sudden shared luck combined with our zero Wait, death because of streak. Obama still? Wouldn't you trade that? I mean, Mewtwo is just so good. Trading Obama Snow for Victory Bell is absolutely like Victory Bell is just, just as good. Confident, which naturally means it's, it's time to get kicked in the throat. Specifically by a black belt martial artist. Gym leader Chuck <laughs> was indescribably Chuck. tough in the most bullcrap way possible. For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because oh, of course Jacob. not. He had Why a would Jacob have trouble? <laughs> Indra is really strong in this really gen, by the way. This it. is pre fairy type, so it's pretty much Obamatar's just unkillable ability, monster. Which hail, damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's not an ice. Is type, she gonna lose something to her own hail? Convenient in a Nuzlocke. I even made a. A teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. The animation is can, so clean. Can, I'm gonna call it. Snow's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. Oh, no. Kingdra goes down no. and Chuck's only other Pokemon. You have He's the power of the self fulfilling prophecy, it's as do I. If we get frozen here, it could actually be the run. The Jin wants to learn Nightshade. We don't. Giga Drain, let's get it. No freeze. No freeze. Who, if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak makes the oh Pokemon my God, 20% I, harder Snow to Cloak hit if and, there's uh, hail. You want to know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? The sand Five. one. They're so, so toxic to face. Swine. You want to know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold Soul Silver? <laughs> 493. Oh my now, god, I point zero one percent pretty awful already. But you know what this process does? She uses Ominous Wind. Ominous oh, Wind don't has tell a me there's a boost. Chance to boost. Don't tell me there's a boost. The user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. Oh my god, dude. Literally, anytime I'm playing Emerald Kaiser or any of those games, that Lilip from Roxana, Roxanne? Roxanne, will, without fail, Ancient Power Boost every single attempt. It's so sad. After it's so sad. After a lot so of strategizing, sad. we both decided the best option for us would be to send in Mychil as Death Fodder to heal up Plap, because oh, he is the Michel. only one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another... Oh my, a triple boost? You're, he's good. He's so good. He's no, no. Oh my, Frost oh, crit. crit one shot. I would take the crit there over out. the boost. If it boosts guess. again, there's probably nothing you Poor can do at that point. He was so proud for Except for like maybe PP Saul, depending on what the other moves are. No I got Plap healed up and basically started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy. It's not noble, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If you're, pl if you're playing within your rule set, who cares? Bad luck for what felt like hours. I never feel bad about Finally, using items if you have items in your rule set. Down. You get the dub, that's what's important. Finally. Nice. Holy <laughs> shit. Jacob practically <laughs> drags me out of the gym and we head to the PC. <laughs> we decided no. to add a pair. We I love it. The missing note is censor the finger. That's so good. Fan named Darfell. A Ooh. fantastic duo. I was Amazing. And I think justifiably, Don't still is so really good. salty about what we just went through. But Jacob convinced me that we should As just a move on. But we, we got our Darfells leveled up and returned to Olivine to feed Amphi the medicine Aww, that we picked up. Poor little so Amphi. Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. <laughs> do your job. Already done. Another one? <laughs> You're right. Another oh Lugia? Oh my god. Look at R2 screens real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Come on, right. Jacob. <laughs> 
She also had a <laughs> what is Jacob's getting hit with the RNG stick at some point, right? Adding Nidoran and Barrel named Barrel to the team. And in the Lake of Rage, Jacob caught a Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never used what this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We didn't we use it? Kyogre's the like the best. Of the lake beast. Arguably Activate the best and the most self-sufficient Pokemon in the game. And find a shiny... I respect it, though. ...Venerian Dawn fan. Aw. Not, you know, the best, but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat... Oop, I killed it. <laughs> The way he just again. flops My over. Bad. That's so Sorry. funny. Lance walks up to us and goes, Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist. Oh, this kicks is down okay. the door to the mahogany tower. I haven't played Hardcore and Soul Silver in so long. Kills one of the guys long. in there and runs into the rocket hideout <laughs> where he continues to wipe out any living organism. Oh my god, Lance, you savage. Classic Lance. We Classic. We decided to copy him and beat up all the executives <laughs> and their power generator. Right before the we group of 11 year olds following Lance beat the shit badge and then continue <laughs> So good. Rocket. We were getting a bit too comfy though. And as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, Obamatar was killed by a golem's earthquake. That is unironically like the number one way people will lose things in a Nuzlocke. For me, it's looking at Twitch chat. I'll look at Twitch chat. I'll just start mashing the A button while I'm reacting to Twitch chat. And I'll look at my screen and I'll have like a Piplup that got killed by a Lunatone or something like that. Just as an example. Not that I'm sad about that one still or anything. It's, it's just being distracted and not focusing on the run is the number one way you will lose things in your Nuzlocke. And that's just a part of the game. Oh, no. Don't feel bad. That was a <laughs> Obama really bad snow, blow. rest in peace. It stung much more because we weren't paying attention. But we it'll did happen. Have to it will move absolutely on. happen. Especially since we were literally in the middle of If a it hasn't fight, happened to you yet, it's just a matter of time. Executive and big boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm mm. down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frost last Corefish, which put me into a vengeful Pretty good. trauma spiral. Uh. <laughs> just, oh, she's yeah. the one Frost last. <laughs> Listen, Crawdon getting a um and an Azel. Actually, I don't know if it gets adaptability normally. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, it does get adaptability. So, Crawdont with like adaptability, uh, knockoff, sucker punch, aqua jet is very strong offensively. Obviously, its defenses are really weak. Um, but Frostlass is super good because anytime you can get a ghost type on your team, you're almost always going to use it. Um, it does have the offensive capabilities of ice while losing the fighting type weakness as well. Ice on its own is quite possibly the worst typing in the game, um, but Ghost does help alleviate that a little bit. It's a really good Pokemon. Uh, it's a really good combo. As Elf, we arrived and took on Claire, who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at this point I She's facing surprised. all Girl, the these legendaries and apparently just crushing them. Clap it up for Jaden. Let's go. Pretty much a pushover for both of us. Claire's a bad sport and refused. She's faced two Lugias. She's faced. What was the first one? She's faced Mewtwo, two Lugias, and I don't remember the first one. She's crushing legendaries like they're nothing. Amazing. Used to think we were good trainers, so we talked to the old man behind the gym, and he's. If you do randomizers and you enjoy having it be more of a challenge for you, by the way, you can do a randomized Nuzlocke and then just don't use legendaries yourself, but allow the trainers to use legendaries. It does make things super interesting. It's a good way to spice it up. Uh, with randomized, a lot of the time you get a strong early game Pokemon, you kind of just crush through everything. Having that kind of offsets that a little bit, makes it a little bit more engaging if, if you're not too keen on randomizers typically. It's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. What? So now we can have to <laughs> Do you beat your fight. Pokemon? No. Hey, guys. Here you go. I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecritique. <laughs> uh, so we enter the Ecritique theater okay, and start Come fighting on, the women. And the second girl for me sends out Ambipalm. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which Technician. I... <clears throat> didn't pay attention to and <laughs> like and i said not paying attention the number Franklin. one way you will lose things in a nuzlocke absolutely our starters died oh, Dude, you guys made it really so far sad. we were about to make it so to the far elite four with them and bam it hurts it really does hurt not alive anymore they were spoiler with alert us through in my current nuzlocke of bdsp the one that we just completed Something similar happened. It's always soul crushing. Always, Everything. always, always. It Pretty never much gets the easier. Backbone to our teams. Man, Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still what warning, <laughs> come on, Jan. What an asshole. Rest spams with <laughs> That's so funny. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to yeah, leave, lady. and the girls are all, "No, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon." 
He's already got three, so I had to whirl <laughs> island. Jesus Christ, Alpha Rad, town. relax. What do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. As soon as I saw the silhouette, my night was ruined. I, the Whisper line is quite possibly my least favorite Pokemon line in the entire game. I absolutely cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. Finally, we have some freedom again. <laughs> and as soon as we yeah, yeah, touch the that line water so much. and Ubark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from Zangus the bottom really cool, of the though. lake but Entei himself mm. and Doduo. Oh Doduo. my god. <laughs> Master Ball. Hello, Are they going to use them? That's Dode. going in the nice. box because fire types. We catch oh. Cascoon Regiwaki oh, in Victory sense. Road. And heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind us. And I iconically say, this is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? You and me both, Jan. We have the power of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, the counter. No. That will happen. That will absolutely oh. happen. That's not great. Oh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the So Pets nice, gym, yeah. We really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before the Elite Four. Bad. Mm, we beat Dan for the last time. <laughs> the lip quiver, I can't. And the animations are incredible. see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch Me together too? the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion. Okay, Bebera, really nice. Queen, okay, Bibro's underrated. Dodrio nice. Ente, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. I know, I nice. know. Nice, they bring wow, out the Mewtwo. Jade. Nice. Super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei, and Jacob has a beautiful <laughs> eye. That, Look. It's a Squidward Mewtwo. Oh my god, dude. The animation is just... It's so good. I, S tier. This is the best I love we it. could do. I promise. Tell him, Jacob. Tell him. Yeah, tell anyway, him, Jacob. Anyway, big deep breath. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed right past them. Wow. Everything was going great. They're this just crushing it, dude. Hmm? Yeah, he's... Oh! Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> you live? Uh, uh, nice. The Bibarel, for the record, is <laughs> the hand, really underrated. Especially if you get, like, simple. Not simple nice. Bibarel, if you're allowed to use setup moves, is so good. Move. Oh. Okay, he just did cross chop. He oh, said, no. I was safe to fly him. I'm just paranoid. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh that my normal god. type oh dual typing. God. No, that's so sad. Wait, what does she oh lose no. out of that then? Guys, oh, we're they so lose Entei. Got you killed in the first oh like, my god. 15 minutes of having you. We ended up getting out of the battle with no more casualties, but facing Lance with a team of four each is really going to be tough. Not ideal, to say the least, but we walked up to him nonetheless. Whether we win or lose here, this is our last battle. Win or lose, you should he be proud, though. You guys are Ledian, crushing which it. Which we were both like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all Not you've bad. got? And then he hits the no. Jacob was up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, Licky Licky, Zapdos, okay. Dude, look at the Licky Licky. Plusle. Look at the... Dude, this animation is just... I, I keep saying it, but it's because it's true. It's amazing. Look at Zapdos, like, the expression on its face. What does Licky Licky remind me of? Like a King Slime from, like, Dragon Quest or something? Looks, it looks amazing, either way. And even though amazing. it's a pretty stacked team, he was holding his own and getting through them really well. Let's go, end, Jacob. I was dealing with a giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually, and what does nice. he send out next? A Master Ball? Oh, oh yeah. no. Wish you had a Salamence. Oh. <laughs> I could really use a Salamence <laughs> right about now. True. This is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my you team, made him look really I don't cute, have anything to be fair. that can handle Palkia either. Except for Mewtwo. And what happens? He gets Spatial Rand crit one shot, turn one. I am in oh, a lot of trouble. No. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so oh, all he could do was no. watch this massacre from the sidelines. I sent out Dilly Dew to confuse Stalem <laughs> and just nice. try to chip Good idea. away at him with basically nothing. And my god, was I lucky seat? because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dilly Dew and the run was over. Wow. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. <laughs> something but eventually, at him. <laughs> Dilly Dew lands the finishing blow. Amazing. I was so proud the pair that we caught so early on and deemed as death fodder was the one dance with the ones us. who brought you so i sorry love it for doubting you dilly do thank you for sticking by us and that's why losing your starter hurts so bad only half of lance's team might i remind you oh Plap took out my a sand god slash oh, you still have so plap okay came out tanked plap surf 
and killed him with Metal Burst. Metal Burst. I was burst. in shock with that one. That was our second oldest pair. Ever since our so, Franklins died, Jacob and... Bastiodon with Sturdy and Metal Burst will kill so many of your runs. It's unbelievable. And I both started you will lose so many Pokemon. As our star members. Barrel came out and if you're playing a game with it. <laughs> and Lance's last but it will Pokemon catch you off guard, absolutely. Would... Same thing for like uh, like Sturdy, Graveler, and Golem, and whatever, anything else with Explosion as well. You will lose something that you get to one HP with sturdy and it will revenge kill you. It will just, it's bound to happen. Um, just try your best to play around it. Big old hard hitting tanky Pure power. Azumarill. Thankfully there's I no fairy Dilly type Dilly here. I back out because Barrel would die immediately and started the chipping game again. If that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain Very and an oh. aqua ring for itself, which <laughs> turned this fight from, uh, to ah uh, this awful one-on-one <laughs> -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes i slap him he slaps back much harder and then heals and then i heal but eventually <laughs> come on lance the stalling we're battle, doing a nuzlocke here buddy Azumarill goes down in an unpredictable turn of events let's go let's go from utter defeat what amazing an adventure we just went on insane encounters insane bull crap friends Death, Making it through the bullcrap is and the so Dilly satisfying, Doos. though, if you're able to do it. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it I wish we you. saw more of the fights, because I... There's not really too much to break down aside from, like, starter choice, when we, I can't actually see, like, the decisions being made during the fights, obviously, but what an amazing animation, amazing run. And a run. salute to the buddies we made along the way. Except you. <laughs> oh, he's in your Hall of Fame? Is he? Wait. Pokemon Heart Gold Souls Director Jaden Animation. Amazing job. Sorry, was there 90 Cent Denny, Aatrox, Chibatsu, Colleen Butters, David Baron, D. Helm, and Duck D. I'm not gonna read them all. <laughs> Amazing job, all of them. Having a team probably helps to get more of these out, because I can't even imagine the amount of time it would take to animate. Like, like I mentioned early and early on, like the first. Five seconds has like three different animated scenes occur. I can't even imagine how long it would take to do an entire 20 minute long video like this. Unbelievable. Pokemon challenge for being a good sport. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to my team, you give me the space to stay inspired and keep making content I genuinely enjoy making. I owe you all so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you guys do for me in the videos. Don't leave yourself out of that. You do a lot of things to help other people as well. Myself included. Thank you for supporting our videos. I'm so grateful to be in the spot I am and to be able to do any of this in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. This concludes our animated Nuzlocke series. Hopefully this isn't the last an uh, Nuzlocke they do. But for the record, like the Pokemon community does owe a lot to Jaden and what she's done. She brought Nuzlocke's to more eyes than anyone else has. But she really did so much for the scene, whether she realizes it or not. So thank you so much, Jaden, for the animation. Thank you for everything you've done. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. All that. We have uh, a video in the works regarding my uh, my insane BDSP run that should be done hopefully tomorrow. So if you're seeing this, it should be up on the channel maybe hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.